Hi there, welcome back to Not Another Budget. I'm Nicole and on this channel I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour. So if that's something you're interested in following along with, please don't forget to stick around and check out the other content I've created for you on this channel. Now, if you saw my live last night, first of all, thanks for joining me if you joined me um, and if you're catching up with it, thank you so much for watching. I... I know I said this last time, I am going to try and do some more lives. Um, they are enjoyable and kind of a little bit over an hour is fine. Um, I mentioned last night, so if you miss that, this is now your your time for a catch up, that I was going to be bringing the money from the uh, media Christmas challenge that I was doing with my sister back into my budget for the time being. And that's because the competitiveness of that has definitely... It's taking up brain space that I can't give to it. It's making me acutely conscious of, oh, I'll just nip into this town that I'm driving past and see if they've got any charity shops which have, you know, things off off the media list. Um, or I'll just go here or, I'll, you know, I might go and use my time there. And um, the competitive edge, it's triggered the competitive edge at a time when... Um, I, I don't have the time to be realistically, you know, going through and, and trying to source these things. And ultimately, it is due in Christmas. I've made a good start. I've managed to get eight books for just under £10. £9.50, um, I think it is, I've spent. So, um, but I am going to have to pause. I can't, I can't, I don't, like, I've, I've got a really intense June coming up. I, and as I've kind of established um last night on the live chatting to my my wonderful live attendees that um while I'm not burnt out I'm definitely at max capacity there is not really much else left in the tank and I still need to find um fuel basically for for the proverbial tank and find some extra capacity from somewhere so therefore whatever I do have can't really be going towards um a Christmas media challenge so it is coming back into my budget therefore that has meant that there is an extra um two pound savings challenge video this month i did say last week that i thought i would be doing one at the end of the month um that might still happen but there is this extra one in the meantime with whatever i've accumulated from this week plus the media challenge and the media challenge is just over 20 pounds by itself so this is a much bigger one 20 pounds of it is coming back into my budget and that will be uh all reconciled when i do it there were some technical issues last week with the videos that I had recorded. Um, some of them, the camera just would blip out halfway through. A couple of the other ones were like, it sounded like there were bees buzzing right next to me. Um, so I've re-amended the settings on the phone that I used to record, which is my phone. Um, but I've re-amended the settings and had a tweak and done a few reset of things. So hopefully... Um, the videos that I am now recording are usable. If this one gets uploaded, we'll know it has been. I'm going to start with the penny challenge first. I have a coffee as well because um, I didn't go to the car boot sale this morning. I didn't go to a coffee shop to try and get some admin work done, which I need to do. Um, I just let myself sleep. And as a result of catching up on sleep, I am now like sleepy tired you know when you're like in that sleepy calm like you've just picked up a picked up a bowie um and he is all all calm and and warm and sleepy because you've just woken him up that's that's what i've been in but i've been in that state for like five hours <laughs> so penny savings challenge i if i can do it all in one go in terms of like cross one thing off rather than going smallest to largest then i will so 10 20 30 40 50, 67, can I do 67? Yes, so I can do 67. Um, this one's a little bit of a slow burner. It was one that when I started it in January, I was like, I'm not going to be here still doing this at the end of the year. Then I didn't do any of it for like four months. So um, yes, this one is definitely a slow burner. It will get done when it gets done. Now we come to the £2 challenge and that is one that has a definite deadline because whatever I get to on the £2 challenge is what is going to be used to fund um, a big event thing which I've got going on in 
June, which is I'm going to the Pink concert with my mum and my sister. The tickets were a joint Christmas present from my sister and I to my mum. We obviously then paid for our tickets as well on top of that, and that is turning into a kind of as we're going that way anyway um, a day out in London. So rather than trying to find the extra money for that budget, there was lots of little things that the £2 challenge could have gone towards. It's going to go towards this instead. The only thing is it needs to have a cut-off point. I don't think I'm going to get to the 300 by um, by the time that I need it to, which is fine. We'll stop wherever we stop to. Again, this was another one that had a two month or so break. Um, so we, we will stop. And then I will also, I think, I think I am going to stop this on the first week of June so the end of the first week of June because I do a lot of cash spending around when like the first week when I get paid anyway I tend to go and sort out cat medication which I can pay cash for always normally some form of food shop always topping up petrol normally some form of cash based personal spending um uh so this will then whatever I get to by the end of the first week of June will appear as cash income in my second week of June's budget but that will be a uh, kind of I'm thinking I can definitely get to 200 so I will budget for 200 and put that as a budget line item in for the second week of June that is what I have decided is the best thing to go ahead and do um I need to kind of know what I'm working with because I can't be taking two pound um, and one pound coins down to London. Uh, <laughs> it's not very cash friendly. Um, so I don't I kind of need to know what I'm working with, but I will budget for having 200 pounds and that will be drawn into my budget on the second week of June. If there is any difference, either smaller or lower, we will obviously um, see and account for that. So that is £20 there so far. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're up to 30. So we're now at the largest. So far, the largest stuffing that I've done on this has been £28. That was last week and the week before. Um, 33 four, six, 36 pounds. Ooh. And now, okay. 36 pound, 38 pounds between the 50p and the 20p. So I've got one pound and fifties and then that's another pound there. So 38. I think we can get to 40. Right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, so 40 pounds. So quite close to the 200. 1, 2, 40. What have we got left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 42 pounds. This is the largest one that I've done. So I am up to 42 pounds, 42 pounds. So that is 21 of these crossed off. Right, let's get this done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. Okay, let's get this in the bag. Okay, so 42. Mm, wake up, wake up, wake up. Okay, right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Plus three times 
to 198 pounds i am too, that's frustrating <laughs> i am two pound off 200 pounds now the chances of me getting a two pounds in some form of change between now and um the next two weeks is quite high so i feel confident budgeting for the 200 pounds to go into my june budget um what i won't do is budget for anything extra but i do anticipate there being a little bit extra because i know that i roughly get at the very least like 10 10 12 um pounds in kind of a, the associated small change for this in that first week by the time i've done all of the spending that i do um and then I've also got two more weeks to go where, you know, I'll still be putting petrol in my car. Um, I'm still doing the £100 grocery challenge um, and and things like that. So, yes. So here's what is going to happen. Here is the plan for this as we are definitely going to hit 200 of the 300. I don't think I'm going to get to the 300 um, unless I choose to, like, take that out of my budget. But I don't, like... I can't see that being feasible for June. Um, would it be cheating slightly? I don't know. Um, I can't see that being feasible for June. So um, unless I tweak the rules of the challenge and go um, the £2, £300 total saving is for all of the extra things that I've got going on, um, like the because i think i need one or two because i'm actually going to be selling at a car boot as well in june um i think i need one or two rounds at a car boot to shift everything the pitch fees for that is going to be 24 pound total across two two sessions i've got some graduation fees that i need to pay for and i've obviously got the concert so unless i decide to um finish off the challenge with with whatever the difference is at the end of that first week i don't know but i will definitely be budgeting 200 pounds in to my budget from the two pound challenge um weirdly doesn't look like there's 200 pounds here does there but um it is very 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 weighty um uh, and unfortunately i do not bank with a bank that will allow me to deposit my small change in such a way um on that note i I'm going to head off because uh, I've got some videos that I need to re-record because technical issues. So, so yeah, fantastic progress on the £2 challenge. Really frustrating that there wasn't another £2. It's like, not not quite there. Not quite there yet. Um, I, if I decide to put money into my in from my budget to complete this, um, then extra to other categories, then obviously you'll see that when I do my planning, my reconciliation. But I will be closing this off formally wherever I get to on the second on the first week of June, um, that's where we'll be going and you'll see it appear in my budget when I do some planning, as I've just said. I hope you have a fantastic budgeting week wherever you are in the world. If you joined me for a live last night, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to A, do another one soon and then therefore see you soon um, and stay tuned for my May week one and week two joint um, reconciliation what have I been doing how's May been going so far video and uh, yeah I hope you've enjoyed this one as well I'm gonna love you and leave you so bye bye for now <laughs>